Welcome back everybody to the second update for the Alex Rodriguez Park renovations. Definitely check out the first video. There were some things I talked about there that I'm not gonna get into in this one, but I'm excited to show you guys what the stadium looks like now. Give you guys some updates on where they're at with the process. Also, there was a couple things that I didn't show you in the first video, including the weight room renovations, which have moved along quite a bit. So we're gonna get into all of that, but as you can see, a lot of work has already been done. This project started November 5th, it's late December, and this is the next update. The biggest thing that they're doing right now is just, they are, they've laid the clay down around the outsides, and you'll get a chance to see that right here. But also the next step is they're gonna lay down that turf behind home plate. And that's what I'm showing you here, is you're gonna see the turf back behind home plate. You can kind of see the way it's drawn out right now, and that should be done in the near future. Uh, I'm being told everything is on schedule uh, with the project to be ready for the start of the season. A few key dates to keep in mind with the Miami baseball program. January 17th classes begin. That's when they'll have their first team meeting. They'll start some individual practices and workouts then. And then January 27th is the first official preseason practice as the season begins February 17th against Penn State. So a lot to look forward there once again. They're getting ready to put the turf in. That will be the next step after they, again, they, after they got this clay in right now. So after the turf goes in, they'll lay down the sod. And, and as again, as you can see with the design, the, the way it's working out, you can see they are getting the infield ready to go. They're still working out maybe some leveling here uh, on this left side of the infield there. So. You know, once again, every time I've stopped by the stadium, there's always a bunch of people working, as you can see here in, in the video, whether it's people on the tractors, people smoothing things out, there's people in the outfield walking around the, the park. There's just a lot of people working on this project. I've been told, you know, pretty much Monday through Friday, some weekends, you know, and I think this is common from other people that have seen the stadium workers as well. There, there's just a lot of people working on this project. Once again, just taking a look at the outfield. And again, you're seeing the clay from the outfield, the warning track that's been put in. Another step from the last time I did the update is you're seeing the fence. The fences are being put back in. They'll add some pads. I've been told there's going to be some new pads on the outfield there as well. And just, you know, I'd like to get up real nice and high on this video, but it is a little bit windy and I definitely want to make sure I'm being safe and don't want any issues there. So. I think you can still see plenty of what's going on, but I would like to get a little bit higher. I typically like to show you guys that overhead view uh, of the whole stadium. I'll, I'll get up a little bit though, so you can see what's going on. Once again, the tractors, it, it just a bunch of different equipment being put in here. So once again, after the pads go up on the outfield, you know, they, they're gonna put them some new, it'll be pretty much the same design from what I've been told. And then I, I want to get into this lay in place saw that the, that it's going to be on the with the grass. So it's I've been told it's similar to Hard Rock Stadium. It's really impressive this lay in play. I don't know the exact company, but if you Google search it, you can kind of get the, the gist on how it works with, with this saw. So basically the saw is going to get delivered and they're going to roll it out. And essentially everything should be ready to go you know, when, when the, those first practices begin there in, in January. So a lot still to be done, but a lot, to, a lot of progress has already been made. Getting a look at the overhead view once again, right behind Alex Rodriguez Stadium, Alex Rodriguez Park, you know, here at Mark Light Field. So just kind of backing it up a little bit here, getting nice and high, this overview they can look at here. And I definitely am gonna show you guys some other things. Kind of the biggest notable noticeable change, I think the renovations are being done as they lay this new grass, but that turf that I talked about, that's the big one. And then and the next thing is, you know, just going to the, I, I think the big thing that people will notice is just the bullpens will be off of the field. And I definitely wanna show you guys that right here because you're starting to see some work done. And, and I think it's great to see what it looks like because people are working on it right now and you're already starting to see the layout of how it's gonna work over here in left field. Taking a look here. 
to then move the tarp off. But, you know, I, I think this is going to be good. Obviously, you know, if stadiums can have this, they definitely would prefer it off the field of play there. And it just makes sense to do it this way. And you can see it's already been drawn out. And the way the stands work, like if you sit right there, you'll get a chance to still see the players pretty good. But this is it. That, that's that bullpen right there. This would be the visiting team. Their bullpen right here. Once again, just kind of laying things down. It looks like it's, you know, good size. And the way it, the, the fence right there is cut, I think it's going to be good. So before they had some... It's changed over the years, the stadium, but they had some tables out there, kind of a, a blank space as they've renovated the stadium over the years. And you see the elevated mound right there, that, the area for that. They're working on kind of filling that in. And there's a lot that will go into making sure everything's leveled right, get the proper dirt in there as well. But basically just right now they're, they're laying it all down for the foundation. A little bit about Miami just real quick. You know, preseason poll came out. Collegiate baseball ranked them number eight in the preseason poll. So it's, it's expecting to be another good team for the Hurricanes. Last year, obviously, a good season, great regular season, and, and just fell short there. And the, the Coral Gables Regional got a chance to host. But Miami's number eight in the collegiate baseball poll. The second rated team in the ACC. Louisville's number six. There's 10 ACC teams in the top 50. So ACC's look, expected to be strong once again. Andrew Walters and Yo-Yo Yo Morales. They've gotten some preseason All-American honors already. And with this college baseball, these preseason polls, there'll be a lot more coming in. A lot of publications will release it. But this is the first one that I've seen so far. Once again, just seeing this line down left field, I think it looks great. You know, just the way it's cut right there. Um, another look at just kind of the field and what's going on. Before we go into the weight room, there's some things with the weight room that I didn't show you earlier. And again, that I want to show you that left field line, the way it works. I think it looks great with, with the bullpen, and, and it definitely looks like there's enough room there. They'll go two mounds like a typical bullpen. So let's look at the weight room here. So I've been told that everything's moving along great, and it's right here. Basically, it's in the same spot. They just expanded it, and you're getting a look at it. It's a little tough to see. I'll do some close-up view uh, from the ground to show you, but I just want to show you the overhead. And, and with this weight room, you know, uh, they've got the new flooring in, and then the structure obviously has been completed, and then they're going to have equipment by the end of the month. So it could be in right now, but, but I've been told the equipment was supposed to be there by the end of the month on the last update. Um, and, and so it's supposed to be fully usable when players return back to campus. So you're getting a look at it here and basically it just expanded. There were some details in the first video that I, I talked about with the weight room, but certainly the stadium's looking good and, and just more improvements with it. And, and it really has changed quite a bit. You know, I first start this, this will be my 21st season coming up covering the Hurricanes and the stadium is undergone a, a number of changes over the years. It, it's pretty impressive. It's still a great venue, uh, just continues to make improvements. But this weight room basically just expanded and this comes from the Ruiz family donation that they announced that they would, would donate to the baseball program. And this is where that's going. So once again, you're getting a look at the, the outside. I'm showing you guys the, the weight room, what it looks like from the outside. And again, it just extends further down but that's that's the weight room right there hopefully you guys like this video once again i'm excited for the next update with the turf hopefully get a chance to look at that and then the sod so it should come together pretty quickly and hopefully you guys like this video if you do hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that our road to 20k is real we're getting real close but i definitely want to thank everybody for watching this video this update 